Hello. In this Java tutorial, we are going to discuss what null means and what it means when a reference variable is set to null. You're going to want to have a basic understanding of Java memory handling before watching this tutorial. For more information, check out my video on Java memory handling. There will be a link in the upper right hand corner of this video. Four important facts to know about null. First, null can be thought of as a reference that doesn't point at an object. Second, a variable that is initialized as null is different than a variable that is uninitialized. Third, static methods can be called from a variable initialized as null. Fourth, you can write code to check if a variable is null before you try to use it. We're going to write some code. All the variables here will be local variables. We start by declaring a variable x of type interray and we're going to leave it uninitialized. If this were a field, it would automatically initialize itself to null if we hadn't done anything. Next, we're declaring a variable y of type interay, and we're explicitly initializing it to null. We can see there's a pointer, but it doesn't point at an actual object. Third, we're declaring a variable z and setting it to point at a new object we created on the heap. Let's look what happens when we try to access these variables. Here, we're trying to reach into the variable that x is pointing at and change index 1 to 9. This will cause a compile time error because our Java compiler knows that x isn't even pointing at anything. Next, we are trying to reach into the object y is pointing at and change index 1 equal to 9. The compiler will accept this, however when we are running it we will receive a crash of a null pointer exception because there is no object to actually reach into and change. Finally, we are reaching into the object z is pointing at and changing index 1 equal to 9. There is a pointer and there is an object it's pointing at, so index 1 will change to 9. Let's look at this class we're going to use for our next example. We have public class cat, we have a static field fall, and we have a non-static field meow. We're going to write some more code with local variables. Here we are declaring a variable whiskers of type cat and leaving it uninitialized. Next we are declaring a variable catzilla of type cat and setting it equal to null. So there is a pointer but no object that it is pointing to. Third, we are declaring a variable Claudia of type cat and having it point to a new object on the heap that we just created. Let's see what happens when we try to call methods from these variables. First, we try to call fall and meow from whiskers. This won't work because whiskers is not initialized at all. So we can't call any method either static or non-static. Next, we're going to try to call fall and meow from catzilla. Catzilla is initialized to null. Since fall is a static method that belongs to the class, we can actually call it from a variable defined as null. On the other hand, meow is a non-static method, so we can't call it from a variable defined as null. Finally, we have our variable Claudia, which is pointing at a cat object. In this case, we can call either fall or meow. Next, let's look at an example where having a variable set to null could get us into trouble. Here we have a method petcat that has a parameter of type cat named this cat. On this line, it's going to try to call the non-static method meow from the variable this cat. If this cat is set to null, we're going to get a crash and a null pointer exception. Let's look up at our main method. Here we have a cat variable, kit cat, that's pointing to an instance of cat. We're calling pet cat and passing it the reference to that cat object. This will work fine because this cat will be pointing at the same object as kit cat and it will be able to call the non-static method meow. Now let's look at this example where kitcat is set to null. 
we're going to pass the null pointer to the parameter this cat and when we call meow from this cat we're going to crash with a null pointer exception. Sometimes on test or AP free response questions we're guaranteed that the parameters will not have a null value. In this case we don't have to worry about something like this happening. However, if this is not specified we need a check to make sure our parameter isn't set to null before we try to call a non-static method from it. This code checks if the variable this cat is not equal to null. If it's not equal to null, we're going to do the code and call meow from the object this cat is pointing at. If this cat is equal to null, we're going to go to else and just say there is no cat to pet. That way we won't get a crash. For further reading, check out this website or Google class null pointer exception Oracle into Google and choose the first result.